Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kat. I am the Nurse Flipper. If this is your first time here, I am a full-time mom and nurse and a part-time reseller. So I like to do videos on what's sold on eBay. And I also do occasionally have uh, sales on Poshmark and Mercari. And then I also like to do thrift hauls, unboxings, and stuff like that. So this video is going to be a what sold on eBay. And I don't have any Posh or Mercari today. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so I am recording this really quick before I go to work, so this one is probably going to be a little bit shorter than the ones I do on my days off. So let's um, start off, I'll tell you the numbers. So we did $441.39, that is from Tuesday, and let me show you guys. So first, these things... Um, I think this is really important to know. Um, these are like a thermal printer, but don't buy these. Um, I got these like a year ago when I first started like, trying to buy wholesale. I got them off of B-Stock, and originally these things were like $1,000 each. Um, somebody had them listed on Amazon that high, and I was selling on Amazon at that time, so I kind of was using that to comp. Well, I didn't check eBay, and um, I it took a year to sell, and I only got $8 each. So there are eight of them going out. It was um, $64 plus shipping. The buyer paid $40 shipping. So I think I about broke even, um, but just make sure you do comps for wherever you're selling, and look at sold, because people might price stuff high, but they're not selling for that, and these weren't. <laughs> Um, so those actually were a sale from last week when I was working. I don't think you guys saw. I sold 10 to the buyer and I didn't have them all listed. Sometimes with multi-quantity, I'll just put some up. So I actually reached out to the buyer and said, hey, you bought 10 of these. I do have eight more. Would you like them for the same price for the $8? They said, yes, I made a lot auction or not an auction, a lot with buy it now and they bought it. So that is good. Up next, this is a Snuggie. This is from one of my last um, thrift hauls before the shutdown. So this is new in the box. It was still sealed. It's from, I want to say like the early 2000s, but I paid um, $3 at the thrift store and this one sold for $25.44. And then up next, this paint I got off of Shop Goodwill. This is another one, like, I probably shouldn't have got it. I like seeing multi-quantity, and I get super excited. I don't have much into it, but it only sold the three of them for $5.26 plus shipping. So I still have, like, 50 of them left. Um, I've had them for about six months. So you're going to make bad buys. Just learn from it and move on. These, I couldn't find the exact color, so, um, and also this brand wasn't, like, very much on eBay at all, listed or sold, so I was just looking to get easy multi-quantity listings and have, like, 50 paints. And then we have a lot of three nasal mists going out for $15.79. That is an example of a great bulk purchase that sold really well. And then we have this. Whoa. This is a Martha Stewart. Um, it's kind of like a cable knit sweater. This is a um, plus size, one size fits all by Martha Stewart. Her clothes actually sell pretty well. This is off my QVC palette. I have $5 in and it sold for $40. That is free shipping. So I will probably make about $20 to $22 off of this sweater. 
And then up next is another lot of three of the nasal mist that was sold for $15.79 as well. A lot of five nasal mist sold for $20. And if you haven't watched my palette video, definitely watch that. I only have eight cent a can into those. I think the title's like ten thousand dollar profit or something like that. And then up next, I have a piece of copper jewelry going out. And this one I put lace um, chain copper healing bracelet. So it's really pretty lace there. You can see. So. And I put flower just so you guys know as far as description. So this one I have 50 cents in. It sold for $13.16 plus shipping. And then up next, um, this tracing paper I actually got from um, an online auction when I got all my paint brushes. So I only have pennies into each. I'm selling them in lots of four. Because I was trying to figure out um, what the best way would be to make the most profit per sale. These three sold for $35 plus shipping. And um, I have under a dollar in. So that one is a really good profit. And that brand, I couldn't find the brand. But that paper was so cheap that I took a chance on it. Which is kind of what I did with the paints. And didn't do very well. And then up next. This is pretty cool. I do have a thrift store near me that has dollar clothes, like almost all their clothes are a dollar. I found this Ed Hardy shirt. It's really cool. You can see the sparkles there. Um, and then it does have Ed Hardy on the back. This one is a extra large. And I paid a dollar. It sold for $17.54 plus shipping. It only took about three months. I got this like right before we weren't able to thrift anymore. And then we have another lot of three nasal mists going out for $15.79. And then up next, these are from my camera unboxing. These are some vintage binoculars. So I couldn't find exact comps on these. And some of these sold super high some sold um kind of in the middle and some sold really low like 15 20 bucks so i couldn't find this model uh, i priced it high and um i sent out an offer to a buyer who watched it and they actually counter offered me at 50 dollars, saying that this was not one of the wider versions that this was not very um desirable and they didn't feel it was worth over $20. However, mine was in such great condition. They could offer me $50 and that was the highest they would go. So I thought about it for a little bit and I accepted. I only have $5 in and I don't know about binoculars. So I kind of had to take that buyer's word that they were telling me the truth and it's still a great profit. So I took that offer and it'll be about $40 in profit. And then up last, so before I started YouTube, I got a big like $400 lot of um, Fitbits off of Shop Goodwill, a dollar in maybe. Most of them are gone. This one, I, this is a Garmin Forerunner 305. It is in the box with manuals, um, not new, but it does have all the accessories. So that one sold for $28 plus shipping. Buyer is $47.22 all in, and um, I had it a while, so I sent that offer out, and they took it. So, with that stuff and anything really that I've had a few months, if I'm going to, like, double or triple my money, I'm going to send out pretty low offers to buyers just to entice them to want to buy it. So, that's everything going out. It is $441.39 and I'm clicking now so I can tell you guys what the shipping will be because I'm not going to be able to write everything out. I got to get to work. Um, let's see. So shipping is going to be about $140 so that will leave us $300. I'm going to say we're probably at about $220 so about 50% profit today. So I'm going to get to work and I appreciate you guys watching. I will see you next time. 
and just when you thought I was done. So my eyeballs are red because they're mad because I just put my contacts in, but I am working again today. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in Wednesday's sales um, into this video. So on top of the 400 something that went out yesterday, we do have another $314.82 going out today. So let me share that with you guys. So first are two pair of panties. These again are the Soma panties um, from the QVC palette. So there are two pairs. You can only sell these if they're new, just so you guys know. Um, and these two sold for $23.67. I only have about a dollar in, so they're about 20, like 19, 20 dollars profit. Shipping's probably just under three dollars. And then up next are actually some rings that I showed you guys. Um, when we did the jewelry video. So these are the little stretch rings. They're pretty cheap. Um, and they sold for $13.39. So you would think that some of this stuff would be the last to sell and one of the first. Okay, so up next are some more paintbrushes. These three brushes, I have pennies in. These are called cat's tongue. They're really flat there. And these are Grumbacher. And these three sold for $21.27 plus shipping. Buyers $26.88. <clears throat> and sorry guys, I just woke up. And then we have this Russell Wright serving bowl. This is apricot color. And this one is 10 inches. And this one is a stamped on one, so it's not one of the older um, engraved ones that go very high. But this one was $19.49 plus shipping. Buyer is $35.95 and on this one bowl. And then next, we have some more paintbrushes. Again, pennies and these are Winsor and Newton. Just check out the brands when you see old paintbrushes. Um, at thrift stores or garage sales or wherever. I got these in an online auction. These sold for $6 plus shipping. Buyers $11 all in, but I have hundreds of these, so I'm accepting pretty much any offer on those. And then we have this Russell Wright dinner plate. This one is an engraved one, and this one sold for $12.99 plus shipping. Buyers $23.21 on one plate. So make sure you check your china, guys. You guys know I love Russell Wright brand. Um, I just happened to find him at the thrift store one day, and then I knew that name, and I ran with it. Um, last is the best sale of the day. So this is Hall Crocus. It is a pretzel jar, if you see the pretzel there. And it is marked. It's not marked with the pattern, but if you search, like, hall jar um you'll see the different patterns so this pattern is crocus and i paid seven dollars and fifty cents for this at a online auction and it sold for a hundred and twenty nine dollars and ninety nine cents plus shipping buyer is 154.80 all in so that is everything i don't have time to go over the numbers with you guys but i will tomorrow on the sales um because I got to head to work. I do appreciate you guys watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Whoa.